Hello Filmora creators, welcome to Tube Media Tutorials. The Wondershare Filmora 15 brings in some brand new tools, including the new pen tool, with which you can create lines, shapes, and masks with ease. Let's have a look at the main uses of the pen tool. Design custom motion paths for icons, loaders, and interface elements. This gives your UI demos a polished, modern, and interactive look. Make text or shapes follow any custom path you draw. It adds stylish flowing motion graphics to your videos with minimal effort. Draw glowing lines or rings around products to create eye-catching highlight effects. Ideal for making product showcases stand out. Trace routes on maps and animate them with markers or planes. It's perfect for showing travel paths in a clear and visually engaging way. Use the pen tool to draw quick lines, circles, or arrows on your footage. It helps highlight important information and keeps your explanations easy to follow. Let's see how we created this route animation, which helps in creating beautiful storytelling or travel videos. After adding a map image into the timeline, launch the pen tool. Head to the drawing tools, then click pen tool. We will start from this junction on the map and head to the next junction. So we click and put a point here. If the next path is curved, then the path can be bent like that. Let's go this direction and mark our next junction. Then we change direction and put points at the following two junctions. To end drawing with the pen tool, you may click the backspace button on your keyboard or double click the mouse's left button. There you have the pen path, which denotes the route. Now, we need to animate. You can edit the shape in a lot of ways. Firstly, there are preset styles you may choose. The radius of the lines can be adjusted. Neon light presets are cool. If you want to make it solid color, you can do it as well. If you notice, the zoom start node gets thicker and thinner if you modify this. You can do it for the end node as well. There is control for feathering and intensity if you need. The color of the effect presets can be changed from here. Now here comes the most important tool, trim path control. Again, notice how the starting point of the node is moving towards the end via the path. The same happens for the end node. You can set items to do the same, that is follow the path. Let's first change the preset to this one. There are preset items available for you to link at the end nodes. You may import from your computer or link other items from the timeline as well. The preset includes different transports, people walking, and a few more, which primarily will be used for videos like this. Let's choose the drop pin. We will place it at the end node since the end point is at 100% on the trim path. If you change the percentage, the drop pin moves along the path. The linked objects might get rotated since the path changes direction. You have to manually rotate them as needed. Let's set both start and end at 0% and add keyframes here for both. We will do trim path keyframe animation. Next, move the playhead. Let's say set it at the one second mark since it's a five second video and there are five junctions. Now let's move the end node slowly. And as you can see, as we change direction, again, the pin needs to be rotated. So for this, we need to do keyframe animation for the rotation at the same time, which is very important. Similarly, move the playhead at the two second mark and move the end bar accordingly until the drop pin reaches the next junction. Rotate the pin as needed and add another rotate keyframe. Do this for the rest of the path. Move the playhead, then rotate the pin, add keyframes. One thing to note, when you move the end node, keyframes are automatically added since we have added a keyframe at the beginning. So this is how the path follow animation is created. This adds value to storytelling videos. Try it today in the Filmora 15. Thanks for watching Tube Media Tutorials.